Good morning, dear children. I am Asim Ansari, your maths teacher. In the last video lesson, we have learned about building numbers. Now today, we will be learning rounding numbers. So, let's start. Let's now learn about rounding the numbers to the nearest 10 and 100. But, do you know what is the meaning of rounding? Rounding means to round a number to the nearest approximate value. Now, what is the meaning of approximate? Something which is not accurate. It's a sort of guess. Dear students, after teaching the concept of building numbers, you will be able to round the numbers to the nearest 10. You will be able to round the numbers to the nearest hundred. Now, let's see these two examples. Round number four to the nearest ten. Is this number four closer to zero? Or 10. With the, num with the help of this number line, we can make out that this number 4 is closer to 0. So, we will be rounding this number to 0. Right, my children? Quite easy, isn't it? Let's move to the next example. Round number 8 to the nearest 10. Now, is this 8 closer to 0 or 10? With the help of number line, we can clearly make out that this 8 is closer to 10. So, we will be rounding it to 10. Let us see this example, dear children. Round number 2 to the nearest 10. Is this number 2 closer to 0 or to 10? With the help of number line, we can clearly make out that this 2 is very much closer to 0. So, what's your guess? Yes, we round this number 2 to 0. Now, let's see this another example. Round number 5 to the nearest 10. Now, is it closer to 0 or 10? When we look at the number line, we can clearly make out that this number 5 is exactly in between 0 and 10. That means it is halfway to 0 and 10. So, in this case, we round it to the higher 10, my children. Remember it. When you have a number which is exactly in between two tens, so we will go and round it to the higher 10. Okay? Now, let's see this example, my children. Round number 499 to the nearest 100. Now, we are going to round it to the nearest 100. So, we have to compare uh, and check out the two hundreds in, which, in between which this number lies. So, what are the two hundreds it, it lies in? Is it closer to 400 or 500? So, with the help of number line, we can see, we, we can clearly make out that this 499 is very much near 500. So, we will round it to 500. Let's see this one. Round number 584 to the nearest 10. So, we have to check in between which two tens this number 84, 584 comes. Now, we have to concentrate on the tens place. So, here first, first 10 will be 80 and the next 10 will be 90. So, is it closer to 580 or 590? We, need, we are going to check. So, when we write the numbers over here, so... 581 will come here, 582 will come here, 583 will come here, 584 will come here. Now, we can clearly make out that 584 is very much near to 580. So, we will be rounding it to 580. Let's see this example, dear children. Round number 355 to the nearest 10. Now, is it closer to 350 or 360? The 355 will come exactly in between 350 and 360. 
So I have already told you when it is halfway between or in between two tens, we will be going to the higher ten. So here the higher ten is 360. So we will be rounding up, rounding this 350 pi to 360. Now let's go for the next example, round number 647 to the nearest ten. So is it is it closer to 640 or 650? We can clearly make out that 647 is very much close to 650. So we are going to round it to 650. Now do these examples by yourself, my children. I am not going to help you in this. I know my children are smart and they will be doing it by themselves. Round number 45 to the nearest 100. Is it closer to 0 or 100? It is closer to 0, right. Round number 75 to the nearest 100. Is it closer to 0 or 100? Now it is closer to 100. So the answer will be 100. Easy, isn't it children? Dear children, it takes a longer time to draw a number line and round the number each time. So we have to think about doing it in a shortcut. We can do that with the help of this rounding chart. Here we have numbers from 0 to 100. Let us see it carefully and try to understand how to round numbers easily. In the first row we have numbers from 0 to 10 and in the second row we have numbers from 10 to 20 in the third row 20 to 30 and so on. So let us try to understand it with the help of one example. Suppose if I want to round the number 23. So I have to check this 23 lies between which two tens. These 23 lies between 20 and 30. Now this 20 is the lower 10. And this 30 is the higher 10. So we can clearly make out that this 23 is very much near to 20. So this has to round down to 20. Easy children? Now suppose let me take another example. If I want to round the number 27. Now again which two tens this number 27 lies? It lies between 20 and 30. Now. This 27 is very much near 30. So it has to round up to the higher 10 which is 30. Easy, right? Now suppose if I want to round the number 45. Now where is this 45? It is exactly in between 40 and 50. So what should be done? It is not near 40. It is not near 50 but exactly between 40 and 50. So in this case, we have to round it to the higher 10. Here, the higher 10 is 50. So these 45 will round up to 50. So from this chart, we can make out a shortcut. What is What will be the shortcut? If numbers at the ones place are 1, we will round up to the lower 10. Now, can you see if the number is 1 at the ones place? or 2 at the 1's place, or 3 at the 1's place, or 4 at the 1's place, we will be rounding it down to the lower 10's. And if the number at the 1's place is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then we will round it up to the higher 10's. Easy, isn't it easy children? With the help of this simple chart, we, we had developed a shortcut. What is the shortcut? When we have the numbers at the ones place as 1, 2, 3 and 4, we will round it down to the lower 10. And if the numbers at the ones place are 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, we will round it up to the higher 10s. Dear children, let us try to solve this with the help of shortcut which we have learned in the previous slide. Rounding numbers to the nearest 10. Here we have two examples. 
54 and 38. Now we will be looking at the ones place digit. Here it is 4, 54 has a 4 in it. Now what is the condition? If the ones place digit is 1, 2, 3 and 4, we will round it to the lower 10. And if the ones place digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we will round up to the higher 10. We will round that number to the higher 10. So let's check out this 54. Now this 54 lies between 50 and 60. And what is at the ones place? Ones place digit is 4. So it has to round to the lower 10. Here the lower 10 is 50. So this 54 rounds down to 50. Now let's see the this one number 38. Now this number 38 lies between 30 and 40. So it has to round to the higher 10 as its once place digit is 8. So what is the higher 10 here? 40. So 38 will round up to 40. Easy children? Now let us look at the rounding to the nearest 100 chart. As we have the shortcut for rounding to the nearest 10, we have this shortcut to round to the nearest 100 as well. While rounding to the nearest 10, we were looking at the ones place number. But to round the numbers to the nearest 100, we will be looking at the numbers at the tens place. If the numbers at the tens place are 1, 2, 3, 4, we round down. And if the numbers at the tens place are 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, we round up. Dear children, let us see this examples of rounding to the nearest 100. While rounding to the nearest 100, we look at the tens place digit. If it is 1, 2, 3 or 4, round the number to the lower 100. If the tens place digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, round the number to the higher 100. So, let's see the first example. Round for 543 to the nearest 100. In 543, the tens place digit is 4. If tens place digit is 4, we round it to the lower 100. 543 lies between 500 and 600. Here, lower 100 is 500. So, 543 is rounded as 500. Let's see the second example. Round 384 to the nearest 100. Here, the tens place digit is 8. So, we round it to the higher 100. 384 lies between 300 and 400. So, the higher 100 is 400. So, 384 is rounded as 400. Now, dear children, try to solve these questions by yourself. Dear children, try to solve this fun activity by yourself. Some numbers are given and you have to take them to the correct spaceship. Numbers which round up to 800 are to be taken to the green spaceship. Numbers which round up to 900 are to be taken to the purple spaceship. Now, do this fun activity and enjoy. Our lesson ends here. Dear children, have fun with maths and enjoy. Bye.